In this video, we're going to talk about adding indicators to a chart. So adding an indicator to a chart is very easy. There's actually two ways that we can add indicators to a chart. The first one is when I have a chart open, you're going to see this box up here, up here. This is our indicator dialog box. So you can, if I click down on it, I've got a full list of all the indicators that are available in Metastock. Now, it may be that you just want to search for something specific, so it's actually very easy to search. Once you've clicked this down button here and the text at the top is highlighted, you can just search for whatever you wanted. So if I typed in moving average, you'll see that list will get smaller and it will only give me what includes moving since that's what I've typed so far. When you see the letters there in gray, what that is saying is that's the exact match or the best match to what you've typed. Everything else just contains moving. So if I were to keep typing and type in average, it would narrow down even further. But once I see what I want, I can just select it with my mouse by holding down the mouse button. I can drag it over to the chart. It will pop open the dialog box. So in this case, uh, I'm putting in say an eight period moving average. I can set my color and style here. So if I want it blue, if I want it a little thicker, I can change all that right here. And I can add or horizontal lines if I'd like to. Let's go ahead and click OK. And that indicator has been added to the chart. One, the other way to do this is to actually go to Insert, go to Indicator, and it will bring up a different looking box. Now this one's a little different because it gives you a few more options to it. So if I were to type in something like MACD, you'll see it'll filter down just like we did before, but now I can say where I want it to go. So that's what this option is. So if I select this option with it, it'll say it's going to put it in a new inner window, which is its own dialog box, and click OK, choose OK again, and then it adds it in and adds it to the box. So that's how you can add an indicator in Metastock. Very easy. If you have any questions, as always, contact support. But thanks for stopping by.